actual dilemma. There's always a dilemma that comes up when you decide you're going to make yourself an old-fashioned. But that's the fun of it. We're going to give you three ways to whiskey based on the classic cocktail recipe. Three simple ingredients. You got your spirit, you got your sweetener, and you got your bitters. I'm here with my friend Sam, and he's going to show you what you guys have in your bartender's box where we can take your old fashioned to a whole nother level. So what's coming in our bartender's box this time around? Really cool thing about that old fashioned dilemma box is that we're getting three different cocktails. So on the right over here, I got some regular Demerara syrup uh, with some regular Angostura bitters. In the middle, we got the spiced Demerara syrup. This is gonna go with some orange bitters. This one on the left is a maple simple syrup with some black walnut bitters. And I've got some orange swath garnishes that go on every one. With these three different ingredients, we can make three different cocktails and they're all gonna taste so different, but it's the same basic principles like Casey said over there. Three different ingredients, three different cocktails, spirit, sugar, bitters, delicious. Got my crystal right here and a spoon. And I've got a julep strainer that works with the crystal as well. I'm gonna start with the regular old fashioned over here. I've got the regular Demerara syrup um, and the regular Angostura bitters. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my whiskey to it. Now, if you're a bourbon drinker, go with bourbon. If you're a rye drinker, go with rye. So we're gonna do two full ounces of the rye whiskey right in this mixing glass. I'm gonna use some of my handcrafted Demerara syrup. We're gonna do a half ounce of that. And then Angostura bitters. It says two dashes on here and that's about four drops of that bitters. One, two, three, four. Next step, Sam's gonna take this cocktail, add some ice to it, and the reason why he's gonna stir the cocktail versus shaking it or just building it, is that he's gonna get the temperature down and we're gonna dilute it just a little bit. It's a controlled dilution. The best way to stir, stirring's hard, take some practice. Take that back of the spoon, put it right to the side of the mixing glass. You're gonna push pretty hard to keep that spoon on the outside. You're moving the ice. You're not really actually stirring the ice. So you just move the ice around here. Normally it takes about 20 seconds. You'll feel it start to loosen up on you. And that's how you know that the, like, it's just about the correct illusion. Now, I've got some nice rock glasses here. We're gonna pour over ice. So fresh ice, always fresh ice. I'll take my jewel strainer. We're gonna go straight over the top of that ice. Last but not least, one of the most important ingredients to your old fashioned is that orange slot on the side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it horizontal like this and express those oils over the top. And you should be able to see and kind of feel them come out. And that gives that really nice deep citrus flavor. Rub it on the rim, throw that swath right in there. there. And if you really wanna be the star of the show, you can fire those things up with a match and get those oils to splash over with fire, giving it a nice burnt caramelized flavor under your whiskey drink. And all that's really left to do is drink it at this point in time. Cheers, Casey. Cheers. They say alcohol is a man's worst enemy. I say, love thy enemy. <laughs> <laughs>